is a lot later in the day. Um, it's like, it's like 7.30. Um, I'm back home. I finished the Song of Achilles. And like, let me tell you, that is not a book to read in public. That is not a book to read with the accompaniment of the Your Name film soundtrack. Which like, if you haven't seen that movie, that's like, the best movie of all time um definitely watch it because like prime cinema um but anyway so i realized when i was editing this that i <clears throat> i never actually like talked about how i felt about this book so basically it is the story of achilles and patroclus from Homer's Iliad and it's just it's a retelling from Patroclus's point of view and it just it's so beautifully written and it's so poignant and powerful but in a way that is so subtle and you don't realize the way that it's affecting you until it ends and then it ends and you know you know exactly how it's going to end because like it's mythology everybody knows how this ends it's a tale that's been told over and over again but it just it wrecks you in a way that is unreal and that you can like I cried when I read it I was like in a coffee shop and I cried but it's fine so yeah so overall I gave this book five out of five stars I absolutely adored it and I absolutely recommend it for anybody who would want to maybe pick it up and try something a little different from YA. It, um, I ate dinner, my huge giant pancakes, um, and bacon. An issue that I have is that, like, as an adult, like, you have to learn to cook for one person, and, like, I haven't mastered that yet, so, like, all of my meals have been really big, but it's cool. Um, so now I'm just, um, I started The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I'm like 50-ish pages in. It's kind of weird, um, but it is an adult fantasy novel, so like, I acknowledge that I have to like, give it more time to like, get into it and to have this story get started. So like, we're Gucci. Um, also though, I have been googling furiously degrees in classics um my university go green um they claim to offer a classics degree but like the lion they do not offer a classics degree so like i and i like i really i've decided that i like i want to pursue this that this is a passion that i've had for a really long time and that i want to pursue it and so what I have decided to do is kind of take their old um, requirements for their classics degree that they like claim to offer but they don't um, and kind of tailor it to myself and to teach myself ancient Greek so that way I can pursue maybe a master's in classics um, so we'll see so you know it's been a productive day but it's cool it's fine why am I like this as a person? I don't know. I just pick up languages as hobbies, I guess. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Your girl is fine. It's cool. I definitely am in like a storage closet at work. But it's cool. These are brooms. Um. Anyway. I just... I don't have... A lot of footage for this week so the vlog is gonna be real short um but like it's fine I am about 200 pages in to oh god <laughs> what am I reading what am I even reading <laughs> oh god um I'm about 200 pages into the name of the wind by Patrick Rothfuss it's kind of slow it's an adult fantasy like uh you know you know um, and the only book that I have finished in the last week has been The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, um, and like, 
I pretty much just like that's what this whole vlog has been is just like me like fangirling over that book so like it's cool you know my thoughts about it um I general life update like I have decided to change majors um so I will no longer be a linguistics major I will just be getting the minor since I'm one class away from completing the minor um and instead I will be majoring in history and getting a minor in classics and Mediterranean studies um and then I'll still be getting my Spanish major because like that's a useful skill and I love Spanish and I love language and I specifically love that language so that's kind of where I'm at it's just it's been like a really long week emotionally just like trying to decide whether or not I wanted to change my major or not and like what I wanted to do with the rest of my life so the whole situation about like why I decided to change my major I want to go to grad school I want to get a master's and I ideally would love to get a PhD I don't want to do that in linguistics I like linguistics linguistics is a super cool field and I really have enjoyed studying it um but like it's not something that I want to do for the rest of my life whereas classics um which is basically just like studying the Greeks TM um that that is something that I want to do and I could work in a museum which I would love to do I could be a professor which I think would be super cool um and it's a topic that I'm really passionate about and so and then to get into grad school you have to have a really solid background in antiquity and in classical studies and in that kind of thing and linguistics doesn't offer me that and so that's the reason that I have decided to change I will be at university for five years now instead of four um, which that sucks a little bit but it's okay um, yeah so that's kind of just where I'm at and this is the official end to this week's reading vlog so thank you so much for sticking around um, if you made it this far this was kind of I don't know <laughs> Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed me and you want to see more. Um, my All my social media is linked down in the description below. So until next time, bye! Charlie boy, don't go to war First born in 44 Kennedy made him